now let's learn how to do it in sas we first import the data set We first make the data set. All right. So this is a data set in which policy number is there, age is there, band of age is there, years of driving experience. So clearly, it's a motor vehicle insurance data, right? We need to identify which are common, so which are alike, right? Now. what we do we first find out the continuous variable out of it age years of experience number of vehicles vehicle age and others right losses cap losses it is same it is basically after outlet treatment we have made cap losses now we first standardize the data standardization of data again use proc standard with mean equal to 0 standard deviation equal to 1 it basically calculates the z score what z score z score is nothing but z score is x minus x bar mean divided by sigma this is nothing but z score so it basically removes the scale out of data all right now once the data is standardized we now check the correlation among variables we see age and years of driving experience is 99.7% correlated we have to use only one variable out of it so let's me remove age again let me calculate correlation now all the variables are totally independent uncorrelated so let's go ahead now what i'm doing i'm using proc fast class let me understand make you understand the syntax of it so we use proc fast class for k means plus string we take output into a data set we can give the maximum number of clusters that is nothing but k value we need to iterate it we will understand this also we give a large number of iterations although might the model might converge in less number of iterations but for sake of safety we consider a large number so basically convergence means that our centroid stops moving all the observations are assigned to its optimal centroid and converge equal to zero again say that it should converge now let me run a proc fast class with maximum number of cluster equal to 2 and let me run the code now in the output we see first it has given initial seed as year of driving experience standardized values as this this and this these are two seeds it has considered then it has calculated distance of each observation with two seeds and then it has took it has taken 16 observation uh, iterations to finally converge right so this is not uh, much of our interest ultimately it should converge right now what we look at is the 
pseudo of statistics and ccc statistics and what we do we just save it somewhere and this is at two number of cluster right now let's try with three number of clusters again it takes seeds and calculate new pseudo f value and ccc value what you see your pseudo f statistics has increased and so your ccc value right then we should go ahead if it decreases we should stop we again calculate number of clusters we calculate number of clusters and check new ccc value you can see that the values have decreased now right so now we should stop at cluster number 3 and finally our answer is that optimal number of clusters is 3 right so that's how we iterate so th this is a uh, drawback of fastless although it's very fast it can work on large data set but in proc cluster we got result in one iteration itself we need not to iterate to you know come upon the solution of optimal number of clusters but here how many clusters should we make is uh, you know we need to iterate we need to calculate it time and again and then when uh, we should uh, you know save the pseudo f value and ccc values the moment it increases but start decreasing so at the local maximum we should take our optimal number of clusters so here number is 3 so finally we calculate the number of clusters at 3 and finally take the data out so this is the output of your analysis and we get 1 2 and 3 as clusters right we can now as a number number of clusters if it is only 2 we can use proc plot as we have seen in hierarchical clustering class however if number of clusters are more than 2 we use proc can disk to make the canonical form and plot it so first we use proc can disk to calculate the canonical form and finally we plot our clusters see this is the final cluster we have got so three clusters is this two cluster is this and first cluster is this right so that's how we finally arrive upon the clusters there is a warning two values above are invalid for correlated variables don't worry about it it is just remind reminding you that you should check correlation among variables which we have done right so there are few precautions that you need to take you first check the outliers outlier should be treated your z score that we calculate uh, during proc standard also can be used for identifying outliers so if z score is more than 2.5 or less than minus 2.5 can be a good measure to understand if there is any outlier or you can check the quart uh, you can check the quartile distribution and then based on the given criteria you can find out the outliers multi collinearity that is correlation among the variables should be checked like there was a correlation between age and years of driving experience and we removed from the variable so these precautions you should take while doing analysis as i have told that there is alternative approach in which we can first use proc k means proc cluster fastless or k means clustering 
to come to intermittent clusters and then use proc cluster to arrive upon final clusters choice is yours thank you we will